Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla game. So, first of all, the game is running kind of smoothly for me. It's a lot better than Watch Dogs Legion when it came out, so it's not that bad, honestly. And I will show you uh, to, how to optimize your FPS and also how to keep a nice... Uh, image quality, decent graphic, not to lose everything to get more FPS. So let's start with the guide. So first of all, first thing is the game mode, right game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at off. Uh, it's really important, honestly. It's causing like stuttering and uh, you will lose sometimes the FPS randomly with this. Uh, sometimes it's working well, but the thing is, it really depends on your computer and the type of game that you're playing. So a lot of time this is causing issue and that's why I just want, you, you need like full control on your computer. So that's why you should not use this. Xbox game bar, make sure that your ga Xbox game bar is at off, really important. And also the, the capture option over there, background recording, make sure it is at off. Recorded audio, make sure this one is at off also. Really important also, all those uh, overlays, so Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, whatever overlay that you're currently using, make sure that you disable this. It's, it's Sometimes it's causing also stuttering, you will lose FPS with those. So make sure that it's, uh, it's not uh, binded to your computer. Another thing that is really important, it's your um, graphic uh, driver. So make sure that if you have AMD or NVIDIA, make sure that you have the latest driver. They always do special driver for those big AAA games. So normally you will get like 5 to 7% boost in your FPS. And also, even if you're using Intel, go on their website. Make sure that you're downloading the, the latest version from Intel. Don't just like update your driver in the search because normally when, when Microsoft will just provide you um, the driver to make sure that you, you're seeing like uh, the proper resolution on your screen. But those are not like driver for video games. It's just for Windows. So make sure that you're downloaded the, the latest software on their website. Uh, one more thing. It's the GPU scheduling. So write GPU in your search bar. Open the graphics setting. Make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You will need to restart your computer to make sure this is applied. Uh, I have a dedicated video uh, explaining what this is doing. And um, if you have like an entry level computer, laptop or um, old mid range computer, this can help you like three to 4% boost in your FPS. But if you have like an IN computer, honestly, you will not see the difference with this, but still just use it because uh, Microsoft said uh, in the future, they will work on it and they will improve it. So it's, I didn't see like a, a losing FPS in any game with this at on. So just put this at on and restart your computer. So now we will go inside of the game. I will show you uh, which parameter that you can change. The disable uh, full screen optimization and stuff like that. It's not working with this game. It's running on DirectX 12. So everything is well optimized with this. So let's start with the parameter. So first of all, the screen. Field of view. Uh, me, I'm playing at 100%. If you're going higher with this, you will see more in front of you. But you will... Uh, you will need more resources to render those, so you will lose FPS. So me, I'm just saying at 100%. FPS limit, I'm not touching it because I always use the one from NVIDIA or even MS Afterburner. And this one, I think, is broken because my maximum is 90. And my, for example, my <laughs> screen can do 144 hertz, as you can see over there. So I don't know why they're saying like... Uh, 90 over there so i just put this one at off if you want to limit your fps you can use like a dedicated software some people is asking me why should i uh, limit my fps but i can give you an example for an example if you're playing on the laptop uh, and your screen is 60 hertz uh, you will just render 60 FPS. If you render like, uh, I don't know, 80, 90, you will increase the usage of your uh, CPU, GPU, you will create more heat and you can get like some troubling and starting to get like some random stuttering or random spike that you don't understand. It's probably because your computer computer is overheating. So make sure that you lock your FPS with your number of Earths. So for me, I will lock it on. I didn't do it right now because I'm doing some testing, but I will lock it at 144 to make sure that, that I'm matching my refresh rate over there. Active monitor, but it's pretty much the monitor that you're seeing right now. Like if you see your game in your second screen, you have an issue. <laughs> Window mode, make sure that you're playing full screen in this game. I was losing FPS in Borderless and window mode, so make sure you're playing full screen. 
Aspect ratio 16 by 9 for me. I always do play my game like this. Resolution, I'm playing my native resolution. After all my guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, you will probably need to lower your resolution. Refresh rate, uh, me, I'm using 144 hertz. If you have a 240 uh, hertz monitor, make sure that you have 240 hertz over there. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, make sure that you're seeing 60. V-Sync, I'm not currently using V-Sync. Honestly, if you're getting a, a big amount of uh, tiering, you can definitely put this one at on. Uh, I don't like V-Sync. Normally, I don't use it because I don't like uh, input lag, but you know, in the solo game, you don't really like go crazy with input lag. It's more for FPS shooters, some stuff like that. But I never like, uh, I didn't see any tiering when I was playing the game. Resolution scale, this one I'm putting at 100. You can upscale definitely the game. You will lose a crazy amount of FPS and you can lower it if you want. You will gain a lot of FPS, but your image quality will decrease a lot. So it's not necessarily recommended. You can go like at 95%, but don't go too low because you will see that your game will become like blurry and you will have a lot of like pixel and stuff like that. So now the graphic parameter, the first one, adaptive quality, make sure this one is at off. You don't want to use that. Uh, you want to control what you're seeing. With adaptive quality, sometimes everything is like getting blurry and sometimes everything is looks fine because they want like, they have an objective for your frame rate. They want to keep it st stable, but you will see that your image quality will move and change. So I really don't like this. Uh, NTL easing, I'm putting at medium. I did a couple of tests. Uh, I'm getting 3% FPS high to medium and medium to low 1%. So that's why I'm using medium in this game. World detail, I'm using medium. If I compare ultra high to low, you can get 10% over there. And uh, low versus medium, I saw a difference between like 1% to 2%. So that's why medium seems like a nice, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice compromise. Pretty much the same thing with clutter. Medium is a, a good compromise. As you can see, I can show you the detail. If you compare high to medium, it's not that bad. You're still seeing like some stuff, but at low, you will see it's really empty. <laughs> so if you're really struggling with your FPS, go with low, but honestly, go with medium. Shadows. Shadow, this is pretty much the most important the graphic setting in this game. If I compare ultra high to low, you can get like 15% boost in your FPS. So that's a lot. Uh, and for me, it's not really important shadow. So that's why I'm putting this one at low and uh, This one will give you a lot of FPS. So honestly, if you have like you're running the game at 50 f 55 50 FPS and you want your 60 Just start with shadow and look at your FPS and after that change the other parameters if you have to Volume volumetric cloud in any like Ubisoft game, you will gain a lot of FPS with this. So if I compare ultra high to medium, you can get nine percent, nine to eleven percent, depending uh, where you are in the map. So that's pretty huge. Go with medium. After that, water. I'm putting medium high to medium. You can get like a nice three percent. Medium to low, it's a one percent. Honestly, it's not necessarily a FPS boost. It's more like your FPS is is more stable when you like seeing water and you interact with water. So this one I'm using medium. Screen space reflection, you have two options, on or off. Go with off, I, I see a, my FPS is a lot stable with uh, screen space reflection at off. So that's why this one I'm using off. For texture, it's really it really depends on your VRAM, the amount of VRAM on your video card. Me, have, as you can see, the game is taking four gig on eight gig right now. So that's why everything is max. But uh, if you have three gig and less, go with medium with both. And if you have less than two, like two gig and less, go with low over there and low with character. Finally, the last option, the post-processing one. This one is the depth of fill. Uh, don't use that. Uh, I really don't like this effect. So go with off. I can show you the difference. You're not necessarily seeing it, seeing it on the game, but it's like when you're using depth of fill, you have some kind of like focus on what you're seeing and everything else is kind of blurry. I really don't like this. I, I just want everything clear. So go with off and motion blur again. I really don't like this effects also. I'm putting off. So that's about it guys for the guide. Uh, if you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Also really important, don't forget to ask a question. Sometimes people are just like sending their rig and I have no idea what is your issue. So you have an issue, do we have an objective that you want to do and you're not able to achieve it? So really important, 
post me the question and also really important guys download your latest driver you will see what type of driver that you have when you will run the game so uh the driver and the number of it pretty much the same thing with amd so really important to do that so that's about it guys if you have any questions just come in the youtube section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace